Hello doctors. Good morning. Welcome back to our classes. In this class, we are going to discuss Kaya Chikitsa. In that Kaya Chikitsa also, many of you will definitely eliminate, will definitely skip the topics related to allopathy, unani, homeopathy, yoga and siddha. This were mentioned in our syllabus point. Most of you will definitely skip this point while going to your examination. But in some cases, there will be chances to ask an essay answer among these terms or else a short answer also. So, I am providing you what to be written if allopathy, unani or else homeopathy is asked in the examination. At that time, what you have to mention in the paper. So, that I am providing you a clear idea regarding this three topics. In the next lecture, we will provide you yoga and siddha too. Because in most of the papers, this was asked for an essay answer or else for a short note. At that time, you have to present it in a clear way. So that you have to have a clear idea in your mind. At least you have to, um, what you have to say, you have to plan what to be written in the examination if it is asked means. So that we will go into our session. Allopathy. It is a modern medicine which is named as allopathy. Allopathy is the term which was coined by Dr. Samuel Honeyman. S-A-M-U-E-L-H-A-N-E-M-A-N-N. -E -E -N. This was the spelling of the person who has coined the term allopathy. Dr. Samuel Honeyman. Okay. Next. The term allopathy comes from a Greek word. Allo means opposite. Patho means Suffering, allopathy, opposite to the suffering, the treatment which we are providing is considered as allopathy. This was derived from a Greek word. Next, use of this medicine mainly on elimination of a disease or else a symptoms by using drugs. Example, antihistamines in the case of allergic reactions, antipyretics in the case of Increased temperature and all. Okay. This was the fifth point you have to mention. First of all, it is the modern medicine. The term coined by you have to mention. Later on a Greek word. What is the Greek word? What is the meaning of it? And next thing is use of the medicine or else treatment for the elimination of a disease or symptoms. Example, antihistamines and antipyretics. Next, principal features of this medicine. What were the Principles followed in this allopathy, they were genetic cause, infections, nutritional aspects, endocrine hormones, environmental factors, preventive vaccination, psychiatry, toxicology, acute and intense care will be provided and next thing is surgery. These were some of the basic principal features which were followed in allopathy point of view. Okay, this completes the allopathy. It will be enough for a short answer. Next. Moving into Unani. What you have to write if Unani is asked in the examination point of view, I will give you a clear idea. Hippocrates is the founder of Unani. I will mention you the name here so that it will be easy for you to remember. You can see I have mentioned both the terms coined by. Hippocrates is the founder of Unani medicine and he is considered as father of Unani. Science is based on humoral theory. Here the science is entirely based on humoral theory. Okay. Here the terms were separate regarding the modern. What is the dam? D-A-M. Dam means blood. Balgam means phlegm. Safra means yellow bile. Sauda means black bile. Okay. According to Unani, Human body is composed of a seven components. Okay, they were considered as human body is made up of seven components. Next. This is originated in Greece. What is it? Organ means al aza. Function means al afal. Arabs and Persians further developed Unani system of medicine. Hippocrates developed and introduced this system of medicine and later on Arabs and Persians developed this Unani system of medicine. Okay, this completes the Unani. What you have to write? Who is the founder? Who is the father? What 
that it is based on humoral theory like that and the terms i'll mention here so that you can easily remember you can see on board dam means blood balga means phlegmandal i have mentioned and this is originated from greece what are they al aza means organ al afal means function arabs and persians has developed this unani system of medicine this completes a short note regarding the unani and moving into homeopathy what is homeopathy this is a branch of medicine where what is considered in this and the term homeopathy is derived from it is also derived from a greek word here homeos meaning similar and pathos means suffering okay homeos means similar pathos means suffering it is a special field which is produced by shaking and grinding the substances out of which the remedy is made here the drugs or else the remedy is made by shaking and grinding method so that the remedies will be more effective okay it is a holistic approach of healing this homeopathy is a holistic approach of healing samuel hanneman is the father of homeopathy okay who coined the term allopathy is the father of this homeopathy too next research is done in this where large doses of quinine would cause symptoms of malaria to occur but very small dose will clear it okay quinine in large doses will produce the symptoms of malaria but in very small doses it will cure that malaria it is the research done in this homeopathy field next homeopathic physician will check the patient mental and physical emotional complaints also while prescribing medicine this homeopathy physician will consider mental physical emotional complaints and also consider his food habits also later on he'll prescribe a treatment their medicines are in 100 times diluted form okay mostly their medicines will be a diluted format okay this completes the homeopathy short note if homeopathy is asked in the examination what you be written i have mentioned you in this lecture who is the father what is the research done in the field of homeopathy what is hominos what is pathos and how the medicines will be produced and what will a physician consider in this homeopathy field for prescribing a treatment to a person okay this completes the material regarding this homeopathy in this class we have discussed allopathy unani and homeopathy a short note and for essay answer also you have to elaborate these points in the examination if it is asked in the examination for suppose if allopathy is asked in the examination you have to write what i said to you other than that you can mention anti pyretic drugs anti histamic drugs anti inflammatory drugs nsaids and all these were used for their appropriate action according to allopathy point of view like that you have to elaborate what you know in your examination point of view but you must not skip the answer you must not cut short the answer based on the marks you have to present the complete matter which you know must be written first and later on you have to write what you know what you know you have to elaborate in the examination if it is for an essay answer and you have prepared it for a short note means you have to elaborate what you know but you must not skip and you must not cut short in the examination point of view but the better score you have to follow these tips and all in the next class we'll provide you other lectures thank you subscribe and stay tuned to our channel if you need any more topics means you can ask me in the comment section i'll try to provide you that things what you have to do is don't forget to subscribe and like our video and check our playlist most of the topics will have covered regarding this final year and some were mentioned in the third year and first years also in the future we will elaborate and we will provide you the clinical knowledge and preparations of medicines also so thank you subscribe